hello and welcome to my channel in today's video i would like to show you a new add-in for autodesk inventor it's called smdc as a shortcut for sheet metal drawing creator what does it do and how it works we will check this uh, in this video basically it creates 2d drawings of your sheet metals because uh, 2d drawing creation sometimes take a lot of time and uh, I hope uh, with this add-in I can help you to reduce this time and get the process uh, faster so you can uh, concentrate on other projects and or improving the design uh, yeah um, so uh, here's the add-in uh, on bluemic.de I will leave the link in the description below so you can uh, check it or purchase it if you would if you wish um, yeah uh, yeah um, after the checkout you will get um, the download files and the license uh, also you can find it in uh, the order page uh, under your account so uh, let's just go with the installation uh, I have shown a video before about uh, how to install it and how to activate the add-in I will leave it also in the description below but for now let's just install it run inventor now just wait a second until uh, inventor opens so now it's opened uh, just go to add-ins let's add in manager and check your add-in if it's loaded uh, or loaded automatically sometimes it's blocked just uh, make it loaded and load it automatically and click ok now I have prepared here a uh, test assembly, just, I'll just open it. Now um, at the uh, ribbon we can see we have uh, our BM tab at the top uh, of the assembly. Let me just show you, um, here is it. And here we have uh, uh, other add-ins, let me hide it. Uh, so we can check only sheet metal drone creator and here we have a uh, um, setting button too let me just open a sheet metal part first of all uh, you will need to activate it um, I have activated it already so it's checking my license it's okay now it's telling me that my drawing template uh, needs uh, migration um, I have created this this intentionally to show you uh, how to solve the problem too so just go to your drawing template your standard one and uh, because i have created this for inventor 2022 and i only need to update it just open it and save it and everything is is okay so um let me just close it now click on it again it's telling me that my uh, style library not uh, updated that's okay just skip this one and yeah that's what the uh, sheet metal strong creator do it creates four views um, front view and uh, uses standard scales and side view and top view and also here we have a uh, isometric view and a flat pattern view you can change it if you wish um, one to one let's say but uh, in this case it's too large for the sheet uh, so um, the add-in goes and tries the best way to fit the flat button inside of your sheet um, what if you don't have a flat button or you forget to create it just click it and the add-in will do it for you so don't worry about it and the same is done again uh, as you can see it also creates uh, 2d drawings uh, 2d dimensions it adds 2d dimensions for it let me close this one let's try another one um, maybe this one no let's try this one this one looks good so yeah let's also delete the flat pattern check it again and just go ahead and 
um, yeah, let me show you something here. You can, you don't have to use your standard drawing template. Once you, if you have another drawing template, you can use it, uh, or you have another document. But make also sure that it's uh, migrated. Um, I will go now with the standard one, so um, I don't have to change it. One, one thing else, you can change, change the sheet size. So. Um, Go ahead and try it. Now it's everything is done. So you don't have to worry again about uh, drone creation. So let me close this one. Let us. Uh, what about the assembly? What if I try this in the assembly document? What will happen? Let's just try it. Just click on it and check please the status bar. It's telling you what the program is doing. In this case, it's exporting step file and now it's exporting a uh, bill of material. Uh, now it's play, yeah. Good. Balloons. So, um, as you can see, it arranged also the balloons so they don't uh, collapse. Now it's adding overall dimensions. In this case, it's just a test assist assembly, so it doesn't matter. Now it creates flat pattern for the sheet metal and places the four views and the flat pattern one. All dimensions are there. And it also added the bend uh, node, so you don't have to worry about that too. Yeah, just relax and let the uh, add do the work for you. You can <laughs> you can get a coffee or <laughs> whatever and just let it running. Yeah, and I hope this add helps you to um, in your uh, design process and uh, save you a lot of time. Um, and don't worry, at the end of the process, it will tell you how many drawings are created and how uh, many pillow materials and uh, everything. Uh, as you can see here, it rotated the flat pattern view because um, to tell you that uh, to get the best fit in the sheet. So this one too. And this one. Next one. I think we have done this before, but yeah, it's doing it again. I think it will. Uh, now it's done. Now it have created all the sheets, um, all sheets in one drawing, step file, bill of material, and. Um, um, yeah, every sheet has the name of its part, so uh, uh, it's not sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. No, uh, every sheet has its own name of the part. And yeah, here's a bit of uh, parts list. Let me just adjust it and uh, pick it at the top here. So yeah, here's a bit of uh, uh, the parts list, and it have added uh, balloons and overall dimensions. Now let me show you another feature that the adding can do. Uh, here's a standard part. It's not a sheet metal. They just create a drawing for it. It works too. Uh, so don't worry about it. It also adds a, a center point for the holes. So uh, yeah, hope this helps you. Now let me delete the overall dimensions because I want to show you something. Um, it's called retrieve annotations. Uh, yeah, um, what is this? Retrieve annotation is actually how you created the drawing, how you created the model, sorry. So uh, in this case, I will add some dimension here um, about the width, let's say 30 and the height is uh, 20 and we have the thickness here of, uh, I think, 
skin right and we have a hole of m6 so um let's just check this in the drawing again let me retrieve the annotation and see how it looks like so uh, those all the dimensions that i entered in the uh, model so uh, they are retrieved here but as you can see the hole it's telling me it's at uh, its diameter we added in 6 not uh, 4.92 uh, so let me just add the correct one here what about our add-in how can it can it handle something like that so we have retrieve model annotations there just click save and try it it will do the same thing but in this case uh, I pushed the add-in further and updated this one so it um, adds the right dimension there so it's not the diameter it's not it's um, the thread so let's just uh, close this one now let's try the retrieve annotation on other models so let's open this one and try retrieve now it will retrieve all the dimensions as you can see there are many dimensions you can check if it's okay for you or not and um, if it's not if it doesn't look good just delete it click yes and it will be deleted um, let's try another one this one looks good so let's give it a try again so we have same result again I think I will go and delete all these dimensions I don't need it so uh, just take care about uh, using model annotation at this point and um, you can also uh, there's uh, uh, the ask delete dimension you can actually uh, uncheck it so it doesn't ask you to delete the dimension uh, in this case we can try it so just open the setting ask delete dimension remove it and give it a try so it won't ask you about deleting dimension it will just add it so uh, it's up to you how to use it now let's see how uh, it works with other sheet sizes so let's just check for e give it a try and it's bigger one as you can see it adjusts the scale for uh, it it tries to get you the best scale for your drawing so um, let's just uh, check the sheet now it's sheet size e that's right so it's um, I said it's up to you to uh, which sheet size uh, you wish and which one you choose um, one last thing let's give it a try on another project let's just open this one and let's change the sheet size to let's say b it's an ANSI project and give it a try one thing to notice um, the add-in knows how is the height of your title block and it adjusts all the views for it so don't worry about it so what about the parts list or uh, the bill material that's exported well this is how it's a it looks like it creates uh, a comments beside each uh, part that its sheet metal is and you can filter it so uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions just go ahead and uh, leave a comment